I miss the desert. I miss the sea. And I miss waking up every morning. Wondering what wonderful adventure the new day will bring to us. Those days have come and gone. Perhaps, perhaps not. I don't believe in magic. But a few times in my life, I've seen things. Things I can't explain. I've come to believe it's not so much what you believe. It's how hard you believe it. I'm her godfather. Related. Get back. Welcome back, everyone. It's Charlie. This will be my Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny trailer video. There's a whole bunch of Easter eggs here for all the other Indiana Jones movies, so we'll break it all down. If you're brand new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to get all the videos. Also, big reminder, Lucasfilm is also developing an Indiana Jones TV show. I don't know if it's meant to be a continuation of the young Indiana Jones adventures from back in the day, back in the 90s. Like if it'll be another very young version of Indiana Jones much earlier in his career. Or if it'll be something completely different. I expect them to make more announcements about that after the movie comes out next year. But as you could tell, it jumps all over the timeline because you see a young version of him de-aged. Harrison Ford even went on to say that, yes, there is some de-aging during the film. There are some flashbacks, but it doesn't suck. Like, literally, they said it doesn't suck. And it actually looks like they have upgraded their de-aging technology since The Mandalorian Season 2 when they did the de-aged version of Luke Skywalker using their current then deepfake technology. Like, they've gotten a big, big upgrade. But the actual title itself, probably one of the most important things, The Dial of Destiny. Supposedly, this is going to be a time travel movie, and The Dial of Destiny will be them going back in time with the main villain in the film, played by Maz Mikkelsen, trying to alter the destiny of the Nazis. I'll explain what's going on with his character, but, like, that's the whole idea. The Dial of Destiny is, like, literally a time dial metaphor for time travel itself. Big coincidence that in the Marvel movies were dealing with a lot of time travel, Kang the Conqueror, Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania trailer that just dropped. Now we're doing time travel inside the Indiana Jones universe. Harrison Ford has made it sound like this is going to be the final Indiana Jones movie that he's ever going to do. And after this, Lucasfilm has said that they don't plan on recasting Indiana Jones ever. So like this is supposedly the final Indiana Jones movie ever for real this time. Technically, they said that after the fourth film, but I think we can pretend like the fourth film never existed. They released some pictures. If you zoom in enhance, you can see on his finger he's still wearing his wedding band, just continuing the idea that he got married to Marion at the end of the last movie, so nothing's changed about that. I don't know if she's going to be in this movie, though. Given everything that's happened with Shia LaBeouf in real life in the last several years, I'm also expecting that his son will not reappear during the movie as well. James Mangold directed this. I have a lot of faith in him. He directed the Logan movie, which is probably one of the best Marvel movies of all time, just happened to be made by Fox instead of Marvel. There's a bunch of returning characters from other movies in the franchise. I'll explain them and the new characters as well. Starting with the main villain, Maz Mikkelsen, who's playing Jürgen Waller, a former Nazi who was given clemency after World War II and is developing rockets for the United States through the 1960s. The present day of the movie takes place in the 1960s. The last movie, Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, was in the 1950s, so like we've jumped forward a decade. He's meant to be a longtime nemesis of Indiana Jones. They went up against each other during World War II. These are flashbacks of him during that period where you see the Nazis all around him. The whole idea is that he wants to use the Dial of Destiny to go back in time and change the destiny of the Nazis. Boyd Holbrook is playing Kleber. He's also one of the villains. He's one of the lapdogs of Volard's character. Toby Jones is playing Basil, one of Indiana Jones' companions during the film, kind of like Sala was. Phoebe Waller-Bridge is playing a character called Helena who's meant to be his goddaughter, and I believe that she's meant to be the actual daughter of Marcus Brody, explaining their close connection. 
The apple doesn't fall far from the tree. It seems like her character is also interested in history, the same way that Marcus Brody was. This is Mason, a US government agent who's following Indiana Jones through this adventure, who eventually probably winds up helping him against the Nazis. There's a quick blink and you'll miss it Antonio Banderas cameo scene in the trailer. He said that he's playing one of Indiana Jones longtime allies, but his role in the film is relatively small. And obviously one of the biggest returning characters is Sala, who tells Indiana Jones it's time for another adventure, even though he doesn't want to believe it. There was a picture that Kei Hui Kwan posted of him with Harrison Ford of them reuniting after many, many years because he hadn't seen him since the events of Temple of Doom when he was a young child. He said that he doesn't have a cameo in this film. That was something that was completely different, like separate from the actual making of the movie. He could be misleading us, but I'm not expecting an adult short round to show up during the film. The trailer begins with Indiana Jones and Helena being chased through the streets on this vehicle. We hear Sala's voiceover. I miss the desert. I miss the sea. I miss waking up every morning wondering what wonderful adventure and new day will bring to us. This is him walking across the street in downtown Manhattan. When Sala mentions the sea, you see a couple of divers underwater in gear from the 1960s. We see the older Indiana Jones inside his classroom teaching. There's a little Death Star Easter egg in the background here. There's a couple Star Wars Easter eggs inside the trailer you probably spotted. My favorite one is them in the submarine traveling underwater and it looks just like the Millennium Falcon. My guess is that in the context of the film, this artifact on the board here is the actual Dial of Destiny or connected to the Dial of Destiny itself. Because in the previous Indiana Jones movies, usually his lecture has something to do with the actual plot of the movie itself. We do not follow maps to buried treasure, and X never, ever marks the spot. Ten. X marks the spot. He's with Helena here, but when they're walking past the boulder, obviously the boulder is another reference to the boulder in Raiders of the Lost Ark. The exploding Nazi castle that we see is meant to be a flashback. I believe this is connected to the opening scene in the movie. That stuff is meant to take place in actual World War II flashbacks. That's what this scene is here where you see him de-aged. That's meant to be from the opening scene of the movie. The young Indiana Jones winds up escaping, catching this plane. All the train action scenes that you see in the trailer are probably going to be a callback to the Last Crusade train action scene. We get another shot inside his school. All these rows of artifacts are just meant to show you all the different adventures he's had in the time that we haven't seen him. Like off of screen, he's gotten much older, had many adventures over the years. It's also a bit of a reference to the government's warehouse with all the artifacts boxed up. As he and Helena continue exploring this particular cave here in this scene, he starts talking about how he didn't believe in magic before and probably addressing the more supernatural aspects of the Dial of Destiny during the movie. As you could probably tell, this scene is another de-aged version of Indiana Jones. It's not clear when this is happening during the movie, but this is probably connected to his adventures fighting Voller when they were much younger. This seems like the actual Dial of Destiny itself, like the actual MacGuffin, which they used to travel back in time. What's happening in this giant action scene with the parade and him on horseback is that they're actually in the middle of celebrating the 1969 Apollo moon landing. There's a couple of jokes about him using the whip and the guns, which is a callback to Raiders of the Lost Ark. Get back. <laughs> There's another reference to the Raiders of the Lost Ark boulder scene. And it sounds like because of the whole time travel McGuffin, the whole plot of the movie, they will be visiting or revisiting aspects of different movies previously in the franchise. The way James Mangold talked about it, they're not changing canon or anything like that, so I'm just expecting light references to some of the big moments in the previous movies. They released another big story-based trailer early next year, which will give us what the actual plot is, like what Indiana Jones is actually trying to prevent during the movie, although we have a pretty broad idea. Prevent Maz Mikkelsen's character from completely changing history so that the Nazis wind up winning. And the way James Mangold talked about it, even though it is meant to be the last movie in the trilogy, they aren't killing off Indiana Jones in a really big way, or at least he made it sound like they weren't killing him off. They'll give him some kind of version of a happy ending that Indiana Jones, the character, would want for himself. So you can post all your theories about how you think they're going to end Indiana Jones's story. Will he die some epic hero's death, or will he die like his father, played by Sean Connery, of old age? Like, will he just continue living on after the adventures in this movie? It'll be really interesting to see if he has any kind of involvement with the Indiana Jones TV show or offer some kind of intro narration during the first episode, but I don't expect him to have a lot of involvement with that TV show. Like he didn't have a whole lot of involvement with the young Indiana Jones adventures when George Lucas started doing that back in the 90s, so it'll probably be similar with the new series. 
If you spotted any other big Easter eggs or references in the trailer that I didn't talk about in the video, just write them below in the comments, or if you have big questions about what's going on in the film. Like I said, I'm expecting to get some more announcements about that new Indiana Jones TV show when the movie actually comes out next year, so that won't be for a while. Because it's Brazil Comic Con CCXP this week, there were a whole bunch of trailers, Marvel had a big trailer fest, click here for my Guardians of the Galaxy 3 video, and click here for that new Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania trailer video. Thank you so much for watching, everyone stay safe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.